Hello everybody, this is Kelly Richmond. I'm an independent advisor with Creative Memories and I'm here today to show you how my how I'm gonna do the sketch number three from the, it says May, sorry my handout is <laughs> incorrect, from the June 2023 virtual crop. Like I said, this is the third sketch. Um, it's a pretty simple sketch, so it should go really, really fast. Um, it's just a strip kind of down the middle, a couple of banners across the the top and the middle here. Um, so it should be, it's a pretty simple layout. Um, pretty easy, standard four by six photos. I am gonna make one little change in the photos. I'm gonna make this a four by four instead of a four by six. So let's get started. Let me show you the papers that I've chosen. First of all, to show you kind of as the inspiration um, this is, we did some rock painting when we went to visit my in-laws um, for a little family reunion in 2016. So these are the kind of the colors that I'm using as my inspiration, the blue and the gold. And this paper pack um, is just a little mini paper pack um, that came out a couple years ago. Um, and it's just the blues and the yellows. So I thought, oh, that is going to work perfect for what I'm doing with these photos okay so this is a paper I'm gonna use I have a few stickers left from an old very old school sticker pa uh, pack that had some painting stuff that I'm gonna try and incorporate for just a little bit more um, interest to my page so I'm gonna set those aside for for now and we're gonna get started um, I am actually today going to work right on my pages. Um, I usually do this most of the time. Um, I love the, the firmness, the stability of Creative Memories um, pages. I just usually use a standard white, so that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna adhere my, um, adhere it right onto the pages, okay? So here's my two pages. I've already got it set right here. Um, now I wanna show you something on this design. As you can see, you've got this strip of a six by 12 piece of paper that runs straight down the middle of the page. Now I could, if I wanted to, just take and take a base page like this and then put that six by 12 piece of paper right down here on the middle. But I'm wasting this six inches of um, paper by covering it up here and I'm also wasting another six that's a full 12 by 12 piece of paper that I'm wasting if I'm doing it that way so I'm going to do it a little different instead of doing a base page I'm going to cut um, these strips so that and and piece them all together um, since I'm doing it right on my page I'm just going to adhere it right to my page if you have if you're doing um kind of the slide in into the pocket pages then you could take a little strip of paper and weld those pieces together, or you could just use just a page for your base and then build on top. But I like to save paper, so I'm not gonna do that. So what, it doesn't have the measurements on here, but I know this is a six by 12, and so if this full is 12 inches, then I know I need another six inches between these two pieces. So easy math, um, I'm just gonna do um, some three inch strips to go down the side. So I've got this, this is what I'm gonna use for my background paper. So I'm just gonna cut from this one piece of paper instead of using two full pieces of paper, I'm only having to use one of these pieces of paper. So like I said, I'm saving like a full sheet of 12 by 12 paper by doing it this way. So those two are gonna go right here. And then, like I said, I've got to cut my two um, six by 12, and I'm gonna do it out of this blue because it will have some good contrast. So this one I'm simply just gonna cut in half at the six inches. Okay, so I'm gonna set that out of the way so you can kind of see what I'm doing here. So these two will go like this, right? Easy peasy. And then these ones will go over here. Like so. OK, 
okay. So now we've got these, this little banner piece right here. Um, it's 10 and a half by three. And I wanna use this yellow paper right here. And I have a little scrap, so I'm gonna use that first. So I'm gonna just cut it at three inches. I'm gonna save that little piece, that little scrap. You never know when you're gonna use it. 10 and a half. Okay, so there's one. Do my second piece. So when I put my paper together, so here's the paper, I really try hard to keep all of the same pieces together like this. So then when next time I use it, I'm gonna try and use my scraps first before I use the bigger pieces. And I've just found that that kind of helps a little bit better with me using up scraps and so I'm not wasting paper. And I hate to waste paper. I wanna get every tiny little piece I can or use up any, any little tiny piece I can from a paper pack, okay? So now, in order to make these little V things, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my paper like this, I'm gonna gently fold it over. I'm not gonna crease it. And then I'm just gonna take my scissors and cut from this, from the fold out to the corner. And then there I've got my little, my little flag piece. So I'm gonna do the same with this side. Whoops. Dropped my paper. And I could, you know, go like this if I wanted to to make sure that they're even. Okay, there I've got my two little my two little pieces. So I'm just kind of setting them on there for right now. And then I've got these two little other pieces down here at the bottom. So I'm gonna use this paper. I'm actually gonna use both sides of this because I thought that would work good. So I have um, a one and a half and a one. Let's see, how big is that? That's two inches. So I am going to use this other side and cut this in half and use these as my one inch pieces. That way I'm not wasting any paper and those are also 10 and a half inches long. Now these are directional. I want the dark hearts to be going the correct way. So I've got to make sure that I'm cutting my little flag piece from the correct end. So I'm going to start over here. And then this one I've got to turn this way and make sure I'm cutting it from this end. Make sure I get this lined up so I don't have a Wicked piece. Okay. So there's my two little flags, and then I need to do let's see if I have any more scraps of that. I think that's it. So then I'm gonna do one and a half, two one and a half and they are 11 inches so I'm gonna just put both of them together cut once okay now the this one isn't so 
directional because no matter what, you've got hearts going up and down. So um, just to make sure that these stay about the same, I'm just gonna keep them both together and make my little cuts like that. Okay. All right, now let's set the trimmer aside for a minute. Let's get my scraps out of the way and let's assemble my page. So I'm just using my adhesive here. Line that up as best I can. these ones okay so there's the start of it and I'm gonna do this other side yeah I think this page is gonna go together pretty quickly If you want this handout, um, I have this handout on my um, Scrap Happy with Kelly Facebook group. So um, you can go ahead and look me up on Facebook if you wanna join that group. And I have these handouts in a PDF form and I post them on, on that Facebook page or in that Facebook group. And so what I like to do with my sketches, the reason why I reconfigure them from the virtual crop is I like a bigger version and I like it just on one sheet. Um, and I keep all my little idea sheets in a binder and I put them according to how many pictures are on the layout. So this is six, so I put it in a section with six photos. That way, um, when I'm scrapbooking, I can see that um, I say I've got six photos, which is exactly what I did. I had six photos, so I went and found a sketch that had six photos on it that would work kind of with the orientation of the photos that I've taken. And um, I keep this because I could use this layout over and over and over as I'm scrapbooking. Um, and just, you know, by doing different papers, gonna give it a little bit different look than, um, than the others and if you're scrapbooking a lot you know you're not going to do this layout on every single page it's gonna you know you know maybe several pages down you could do it repeated or whatever so that's why i reconfigure and like to put just the one the one sketch with the idea on one page at a time so that's um that's just how i do it it's how my mind, my mind works and I like to stay nice and organized and reuse these sketches. That way I don't have to come up with ideas over and over and over. I can just find a sketch that works and get to work. Um, and it works great. I mean, works great for me. So who has time to think of all those ideas? Not me. <laughs> all right, so let's get back to this and get this all done. Now I've decided to use white cardstock and I'm gonna mat my photos. Um, so I'll do that here in just a second. Now this is gonna go about like that. So I'm gonna move it over so I can use my mat just a little bit to make sure that this is lined up which i think it is so i'm putting it right about at the one inch mark i'm gonna oops line my page up here so i can get this straight as best i can okay and then i'm gonna do this down below we're gonna overlap it a little bit whoops like so 
Okay. All right. So here's my pictures that I have. Um, so, because I only have one that's going to be oriented here, and I think those two will look really well right there. I want to keep that as a full one as well because that shows all three of my kids. That one shows both of them. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna crop this one down to a four by four. So let me. Here's my cardstock that I'm gonna cut. So I need five um, four by six, but just like my paper, my designer paper and my tonal paper. I do not like to waste cardstock either. So if I was to cut um, a four and a quarter by six and a quarter to mat this photo, I would only be able to get four mats out of this 12 by 12. But if I cut it down to just a four by six mat and cut my photos down just a quarter inch on every side, then I'm not gonna waste any of this cardstock. So that is my biggest tip like I don't like to waste paper so that's what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna cut um, five of these mats I'm gonna start with cutting it six inches and then do four so there I've got my one four by six and then I've got number two and number three right here There's four, and this would be five and six. Okay, I already have a four by four already cut from another project, so I'm gonna use that and I'll save this for another, another time so I'm not wasting that paper either, okay? So there's all my mats. I'm gonna trim my photos. Um, and like I said, I don't wanna waste paper, so I'm gonna trim my photos down. And so this one I was gonna do as a four by four, or I should say three and three quarters. Um, I don't wanna cut off her hand. So I'm gonna do it by three and three quarters. By three and three quarters to fit the four by four mat like that. I like just barely a quarter of an inch um, which actually ends up being an eighth of an inch around for my mats. So just a quarter of an inch um, bigger. Than, I like the mat to be just a quarter of an inch bigger than the photo itself. I like kind of a smaller um, mat around it versus the larger mat. So. And I just kind of trim off just like I said, just a quarter of an inch off all of the sides. Yep, that one's good. Some of them are super easy to trim off. That needs a little more. Some of them are a little bit harder. You gotta choose, but that's fine. And I don't, I'm not really losing much from my photo by trimming off just that little tiny quarter of an inch on each, you know, off of two of the sides or however it works. Okay, that's good. Let's trim off the bottom. And, and I lost a photo. Where did it go? Oh, look, it's here on the bottom of my trimmer. <laughs> Happens all the time where something goes missing that's usually stuck to the bottom of something else. Okay, so there I got all my photos trimmed. And I don't feel bad about throwing a little tiny piece of um, a photo away. Hard time I know that's weird I throw a little bit of photo away but I but it's if I were to you throw quite a bit of cardstock away if you can only make four mats out of that 12 by 12 sheet 
just some fun little tips. Now you will see here when I flip over this cardstock that it's got printing on the back. Um, it is actually um, this is the the cover sheet for this paper pack, and Creative Memories used to use um, like the printed sheets for a paper pack and they printed it on cardstock. And so I just saved all of them and I've got so many of them still. And I just saved them and I just use them as as cardstock. So um works out great. I feel like I'm recycling, not wasting anything. They don't, they're a little bit thinner. They're not cardstock anymore when you purchase a paper pack from Creative Memories, it's not like that anymore. So, kind of a bummer. All right, so I'm gonna line this one up with kind of the top of that. This is what I'm using for a gauge. Okay, we're just about done. I've gotta decide on a title. I really want to put a title right here, but not quite sure how I'm going to do it. So, same with the embellishments. I like to kind of blend them in together. Okay, so there we go. That's kind of our setup. Like I said, I'm going to figure out a title right here, do a few more embellishments. Um, but that's basically the page. Um, so... Take a peek at the end results. I'm sure it's it was probably, I'll put it on the beginning of it and you'll be able to see it. And I hope you guys enjoy the virtual crop for June and we'll talk to you later. All right. Happy scrapping. Bye.